Welcome back to another Celebrity Suites. I'm Ethan, and tomorrow, January 25th, Megan Trainor is set to release her new album, and it is titled Treat Myself. And we make a bunch of different treats on this show, and don't get me wrong, I love all the treats that we make, but one thing I do like to make to treat myself are waffles. They're just so good. So today we are going to be making some waffles inspired by Megan Trainor's new album and we're just going to be making some very vibrant marbly waffles because the album kind of reminds me of Prism with like light and vibrant colors and reflections and glitter. So we're going to replicate that in our waffle and we're also going to make some homemade marble butter. The ingredients for this recipe are 2 cups all-purpose flour, 10 tablespoons of butter, 2 large eggs, a third a cup of melted butter, two cups of low-fat buttermilk, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, and some vibrant food coloring. The first thing we're going to do in making these waffles is make the marble butter. Now to make this, we're actually going to take our 10 tablespoons of butter and then combine them using our hands, kind of like mush it up. So I just have some gloves on just because I don't want to touch all that butter. And it's best if your butter is at room temperature. It just helps to incorporate the colors better. Start by taking all of your butter, add it to a bowl, and then using your hands, mix it up until you get a flat disc. Then add a few colors of your choice, and then carefully marble it into the butter. Once your butter is all marbled, now we want to transfer it over to a piece of plastic wrap. And then you can shape it into whatever shape you'd like. You can make it a sphere. I'm just going to go for a classic rectangle. And now I want to pop this back into the fridge so that it can set up and harden. The next thing we're going to do is in a large bowl, combine all of our dry ingredients. Because this is going to be our base. So combine all of your flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, and salt into your large bowl and whisk it up. I've just set our dry ingredients off to the side, and now in a small bowl we can combine our buttermilk, melted butter, and eggs and whisk it up. So we've got our wet and, that's dry, so we've got our dry and wet ingredients both separately mixed, and now I can start to combine them into making this waffle batter. The first thing we want to do is create a well in the center of your flour. To do this, just take your hands and spread apart the flour, then pour all of your wet ingredients into that hole and mix it up. You want to mix the batter until you see no more white flour around the sides or the bottom. You still will see lumps, but you don't want to overmix. Next, we want to add in our vanilla extract, mix it up, then add your food coloring a little bit at a time, stirring it to give it a marble effect. So our waffle batter has a nice marble effect going on, so now I want to let this sit for about 5 minutes. So our waffle batter has sit for 5 minutes, and while it was sitting, I prepared our waffle iron. Now this step is different for everyone, you just want to add in however much batter your waffle iron will fit. Remember, the waffles are going to expand, so just start in the middle and just add a little bit, and then close the lid and wait. So our waffles are all made, this recipe makes about 5 and a half six inch waffles well i couldn't show you a half so i took the liberty in eating that one but now we can start to assemble this stack of waffles over here we've got our marble butter that is firm and over here i've got some hot maple syrup because it's a waffle start by just cutting some slabs of your marble butter and add it to your waffle stack then drizzle on some maple syrup. And here we have them, our Megan Trainer inspired waffles that we made today. The recipe we use is a homemade waffle batter that's nice and airy and fluffy. And then we made a homemade marble butter, which is super simple and you could add this on many different things. This just elevates your waffles to another level and then we add maple syrup on top. If you happen to make these, please share them with me on Instagram or Twitter, and if you have any other requests for another celebrity sweets, please leave it down in the comments below. Until next time, save your life, and make it sweet. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button down below, and while you're at it, subscribe. You can do that by clicking the cute little donut right here. If you're looking for more content, up here is my newest video where we made some popcorn Rice Krispie Pops, and down here is what YouTube thinks you should watch. That's all for today. I will see you guys this Sunday.